and welcome back to the Maker Show. My name is Jeff Krepke and today we are going to go ahead and cover the installation of Repetier uh, Host and Surfer. Uh, it's a fairly short video. It's a pretty uh, simple installation so we'll go over it pretty quick. I hope you enjoy. Okay guys, in this video we're going to go ahead and uh, download and install Repetier Host. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so from our last lesson we know that this is the home page. We're going to go right to home and to download they asked for a promotion here a donation and uh, by all means if you can give uh, do uh, we uh, I don't have the money currently to uh, donate anything to them so there's this download without a donation button right here so we're going to click on that okay now it comes in three different flavors it comes in Windows uh, the Windows installer is really good. I've installed it a couple times. Uh, I haven't installed the Linux one uh, yet, but it might be. I'm sure it's just, just as solid as the Windows one. And they also have one for Macs. Uh, there's older versions here. I wouldn't. I wouldn't uh, deal with the uh, older versions unless you're uh, you're having a specific problem and someone asks you to. I do that I would I would suggest the newest version possible uh, we are going to go ahead and pick the uh, Windows version and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and hit cancel here because I've already downloaded it so I'm going to go ahead and go to my downloads so, uh, it's a security warning I'm going to go ahead and run it Okay, then obviously I'm going to go ahead and pick English. And I'm going to click Next, and I'm going to accept the agreement. And then I'm just going to choose the default file. Uh, it does; it already exists, and we're going to go ahead and say yes. And um, the slicer, I always going to choose every option here. Um, I'm also going to choose this one to had a couple issues I'm not sure quite sure uh, I've never tried that option so I'm gonna give it a try this time see if uh, whatever issues works itself out and I'll explain that later so we're gonna go ahead and hit next and we're gonna want to call it host and uh, you can click here if you don't want it to create a startup icon I do and I'm going to go ahead and create a desktop icon. Just say next. It's going to gather the information. And it's going to download the information here for me. Uh, this, it always grabs additional files. The initial uh, installer is, uh, it's about 30 meg. So it, it pulls about I think 130 more meg. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look. So we got through the download and it started to uh, do the fishing installation. Sorry, this is what it's doing in the background, guys. It's just installing the files. Uh, last year, so we want to set up. Uh, Repetier server, and uh, we will. Okay, and this will ask us what we want to do server. We're going to go ahead and do it. I agree. Server. Repetier server is fine. And it seems like this doesn't take long at all here. Pretty compact uh, uh, program, so show you what it's doing. This is the printer. 
thought I'd cleared it out. I'm going to go ahead and delete this printer. Okay, so we got this will be how yours is when it uh, loads up. You can see I my test space 165 gigabytes. I'm going to add a new printer, upload a configuration. Uh, this is my network at home. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get into that next time. Thanks a lot. Well, thanks for watching my video uh, on how to install a Repetir host and server. Uh, we will be getting more into uh, doing the firmware uh, next time. Uh, so I hope you enjoy. I hope you uh, comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.